Yekaterinburg, called Sverdlovsk in Soviet times, has become well known for constructivism. This is because, even though many constructivist buildings in Europe were destroyed during the Second World War, in Yekaterinburg they are still intact. Our collection of avant-garde architecture is considered to be the largest, not only in Russia, but in Europe too. 1921 is considered to be the year that constructivism as a movement began. In this year, architects gathered in the Institute of Artistic Culture in Moscow and declared a new style of architecture. In 1925, the USSR declared a course for socialist industrialization with Sverdlovsk as one of its centers. In 1926, Boyne Radzevich, an architect engineer, made a draft design of the city's redevelopment, taking into account the newest architectural trends of the time. A building boom started in the city, and new buildings were designed and constructed by architects from Moscow, Leningrad, Tomsk, Kharkov, Poland and Germany. Constructivism brought a metropolitan ambience to Yekaterinburg. Here there stood one-story wooden houses with peasant-style outdoor toilets and small gardens and so on. Constructivism brought new four- and five-story buildings to town. Dom Chakista, the ESET Hotel, and the Central Post Office were among the first high-rise buildings in the city. Constructivism also brought buildings with new social functions. Public baths, communal kitchens, kindergartens, clubs, and community centers were designed to liberate women from the bonds of household chores. Constructivism has several key features clear geometric forms, sharp angles, combinations of curved and flat surfaces, vertical and horizontal rows of windows, contrast between blank walls and windows, minimal decoration, flat roofs and terraces for sunbathing and relaxation. The city wasn't very green, so trees and shrubs were planted on lawns throughout Yekaterinburg. The beauty you can see here, standing on the 55th floor, was created back then in the 1920s and 1930s. This is the residential area known as Gorodok Chekistov, which literally means town for Cheka officers. It was built for the officers of the Soviet security organization, abbreviated as Cheka which later became known as the NKVD, and then the KGB, and finally the FSB. It was built from 1929 to 1937. Before 1848, there was a cemetery located here. Small houses were later built on this spot. Gorodok Chekistov consists of 14 residential and public buildings. All in all, there are 444 apartments. Building 2 was designed specifically for high-rank officers. The four-room apartments are 114 square meters. Here, you see the residential quarter. It was a closed area, but it had all social infrastructures. A nursery for babies, a kindergarten for older children, a clinic, a pharmacy, and a medical post for emergencies. A community center was located here. Now, it's the Museum of Natural History. Here there was a library and a shop. The first and the second floors were occupied by the canteen for children and adults. In winter, people didn't have to go outside. They used this warm corridor to go from one building to another. One more passage was to be constructed here, but for some reason, it wasn't. The neighborhood had all the necessary facilities for socializing, health, and hygiene. The whole concept came to life in the 1920s and 1930s and later became more developed. I should add that housing projects, community centers and other buildings in the constructivist style were more beautiful on paper than in real life. In Europe, the engineers and builders had everything they needed, but in Russia, there was a shortage of many materials. For example, good heating insulation. If you look closely, you can see that the glass in the window panes is somewhat green. Sometimes the plaster comes off, and you can see the straw underneath. Some people living here see this straw every day. The Isiet Hotel is the most remarkable building in this city. 
The building has the shape of a sickle, the Soviet symbol of labor. The hotel soon became the city's most recognizable landmark. During the Soviet era, it appeared on New Year cards, and in 1937, it was pictured on Spanish stamps. Today, this building is known as the Iset Hotel. But originally, it was an apartment house for Soviet security officers, with bathrooms at the end of the corridors and a community center. This building is in the shape of a semicircle, somewhat like a horseshoe. For many Soviet architects, this neighborhood was like a school, in which they learned the concept of complex construction. Most importantly, this neighborhood was built in a specific style, constructivism.